Now that verse talks about running and not being weary. Multiple times throughout the Bible, there are references to running, to strength, and other things you might correlate with fitness. But there's also a need for spiritual strength. As churches everywhere mark the start of Lent this week with Ash Wednesday, more than 15 local churches are teaming together for Walk to the Cross. Jennifer has more. It's a time for reflection as churches all around the world embark on the season of Lent. In the Lima area, it's the second year for Walk to the Cross, a season of spiritual strengthening as well as physical growth. Walk to the Cross is um, an event in which we accumulate miles from Lima to Jerusalem to the cross. It is uh, 6,100 miles from Lima to Jerusalem and through uh, accumulation of people doing different types of exercises like running, walking, biking, swimming, or just plain old vigorous exercise, we accumulate miles in which we journey to the cross. In 2013, more than 30,000 miles were accumulated. This year, more churches are participating. In addition to tracking miles, Bible studies will be held weekly and a daily Lenten devotional is available to participants. It's a season of growth and new health for body, mind, and soul. If, if people understand what Lent is all about and how it goes back to the early church and how Lent was used as a fasting program in which people became more aware of their devotion, of their faith, of their calling to God, then uh, it is also uh, leads to a better relationship, not only with God, but also with other people. And so it, it leads us to think in terms of um, who we are and what we're all about, and specifically what Jesus did for us on the cross. Mark your calendar now for the culmination of the Walk to the Cross event. It's a 5K family fun run walk held May 3rd at 9 a.m. The Lima Family YMCA 